hello friends you are watching this is awesome videos and today we are going to solve some past year JEE problems okay so today we are going to solve some AIEEE 2004 years paper problem so let's get started so this is the first one from this is a very good question from limits and integration both combinedly now what they say uh, limit n tends to infinite summation of r is equal to 1 to n 1 upon n e raised to r by n is what now see this type of one sum we saw in the video of approximately 10 days ago i posted a video on the same type of question i covered in and what we have to do we have here summation summation can be written as integration we all know that integration is the summation of up to infinite terms now what we have to do we have here the limit for r r is equal to 1 to n so limit is in the form of r so we have dr here what we have is dr and the limit of r is from 1 to n now what we have to assume is r by n we have to assume r by n is let's suppose r by n is equals to x what i do i do r by n is equal to x so what i have i have dr upon n is equal to dx if i differentiate both the side i have dr upon n is equal to dx so dr is equals to n into dx and i put that's all the thing here so if i have r here see if i have r here r is equal to 1 here then 1 by n but as n tends to infinite that means uh, 1 by n tends to 0 so lower limit will be 0 now if i have n here if i put n here then n by n is 1 so upper limit is 1 so my limit uh, this whole thing can convert it integration by this method 1 by n into dr can be written as dx we just saw r by n can be written as x e is here for uh, lower limit we have 0 for upper limit we have 1 so this is my integration this whole summation thing is now converted into this form of integration lower limit is 0 upper limit is 1 how this limit appears i just show you to you okay now just simply integrate this we have we already know the integration of e raised to x it's e raised to x from 0 to 1 if i put 1 then we have e if i put 0 then e raised to 0 is 1 so my answer is e minus 1 so answer option number 2 is my right option that is e minus 1 okay next one if integration of sin x upon sin x minus alpha dx is equals to ax plus b log of sin x minus alpha plus c then the value of a comma b is so this type of x example uh, we saw this type of example previously but still uh, how we are going to do this is we can do two methods here here at x in the numerator you can see x in the numerator you see x minus alpha so what i do in this uh, angle i can add alpha and subsec alpha and apply the formula or i can do is let's suppose x minus alpha is equals to t what i do x minus alpha is equal to t so dx is equal to dt so i post put dt here at the place of dx x minus alpha is equal to t so we have sin t here and at x we have alpha plus t now apply the formula here sin of alpha plus beta sin of alpha plus t that is sin alpha cos t plus cos alpha sin t now sin alpha cos t sin alpha is uh, sin alpha cos t upon sin t that means sin alpha into cot t sin alpha is common integration of cot t dt okay so this t is not here this t is not here cot t dt plus we have here cos alpha sin t cos alpha gets common and sin t sin t gets cancelled out so we have 1 dt here now sin alpha integration of cot what is the integration of cot it's log mod sin so we have log mod sin t here cos alpha is here and integration of dt that is t and what is t t is equal to x minus alpha so here we have alpha and beta so a is equal to cos alpha and b is equal to sin alpha by comparing this result with this result okay so we have all the values so a is equal to cos alpha b is equal to sin alpha is my right option so answer option number two is my right option very easy question but still 
practice is required? See, this is a pretty good question. This is a very good question. Please solve this. Ty solve this type of question very seriously. Now, what we have? We have integration of minus two to three mod of one minus x square dx. Now, always remember one thing for mathematics: whenever mode appears, you have to think about the points where the mode becomes zero. Now, see here, mode is there. So always I have to go for the points where mode becomes zero. So one minus x square is equal to zero. So we have x is equal to what? X square is equal to one. So we have x is equal to plus or minus one. We have x is equal to plus or minus one. This we have. Now what we have to do? We have to uh, separate this limit at this particular points. So we have minus two to three. So what I do? I just do one thing: minus two to minus one, minus one to one, and one to three. I just divide this limit in this null points. That is plus or minus one, where the mode becomes zero. Not necessarily this point. At any function here. Function is one minus x square. If function is different, this null points may be different. But whenever it is mode, you have to go through this method particularly. First of all, see where the mode becomes zero, and then at this limit at that particular points. So we have minus two to minus one, minus one to one, and one to three. And see at which which region the function is positive or negative. Now for minus two to minus one, for minus two to minus one, if we go through minus two to minus one, this becomes negative. We all know that. So I just do that. minus two to minus one. Then minus one to one, then one to three. Now see from minus two to minus one. If we have minus two to minus one, this function here uh, we have one minus x square. So x square from minus two to minus one it's always a uh, greater than one. So this becomes negative. So this whole mode equals to minus x. So we have to apply minus here. So it becomes x square minus one. Now for minus one to one, x square is between zero to one, and this this whole mode becomes positive. So mod x is equal to x. So we have to apply just plus sign here so it becomes 1 minus x square here okay and then 1 2 3 again it becomes negative because x square become uh, is greater than 1 so this 1 minus x square then becomes negative so we have to apply minus sign here so it becomes x square minus 1 into dx understand i just separate this limits and then see at which point it is positive or negative and then apply the particular sign and now just simply integrate this this becomes x cube by 3 minus x. Limit we know minus 2 to minus 1. Then we have plus here. And the integration is x minus x cube by 3. Limit is minus 1 to 1. Plus again here x cube by 3 minus x 1 to 3. Now just apply the limits. First upper limit minus lower. Here similarly upper minus lower. Here similarly upper minus lower. And simplify this. And you will get the answer 28 by 3. This is a very simple thing to simplify this. But the uh, tough thing is to evaluate this thing okay? to come to this place then this is a very simple thing okay just evaluate this and you get a 28 by 3 so answer option number one is my right option 28 by 3 see how important this sum is please solve this type of sum this may help you a lot in jwe mains so this is all about today's video uh, we solved almost a uh, num good number of problems for year 2004-2012. Uh, still, in this week, I'm also going to cover all the past year papers from 2000 to 2012. I am going to solve all the important problems of paper A to 2000 to 2012, and then JWE mains 2013, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so. This is all about today's video. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any doubt, ask me in comments. I'm going to solve that question and post a video on that. Thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it and hit that subscribe button. Thank you.